Now, I've, I've also just just so this is since we're kind of on topic a little bit, um, when it comes to giving people courtesy rights, I don't know why I'm just I just think it's an interesting topic. So let's say that somebody is, um, you know, you, the, the cop is being nice, you know, a, a, a lady, a mom and her kid. It's going to it's gonna start raining out or maybe it is raining out. And the cop is like, how you doing, ma'am? You know, okay, hey, can I give you a ride? You need to go someplace. And she's like, oh, I would love a ride. Can the cop uh, pat down the purse and the person before uh, giving them the ride? And that's a common question, right? And as far as I get, I say, can they, they have legal authority to No. Um, if you're just giving them a courtesy ride, you're going to need to rely on consent. And if they say, no, you may not pat me down. You may not frisk me. You may not search my bag before I get in your car. Then I'm saying, well, then I ain't. I ain't and you're gonna, and, and you ride someplace. Yeah, I hope you you smell like a wet dog after you're done because I try to help you and you only let me search your stuff. What kind of agreement is that, right? Now, what about John? Let me can I do a twist? Sure. Trooper on the highway, crash. The driver the driver's car is all jacked up. The driver's not under arrest or anything like that. People cannot walk on the interstate in this particular part. Sometimes you can walk in the interstate, but not this. It's an urban area and there's alternatives. So no walk in the interstate. So the cop has to drive the person three miles to get him off the interstate. Can the cop pat that person down? Yes. <laughs> Somebody says Uber. Uh, so yes. Yep. You're positive. Yep. Okay, I agree. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, but it's not searching into arrest, is it? It's a it's a good old fashioned pat down. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and I think you know, I mean, can you rely on an administrative? search exception um i don't think we're i don't think the courts call it that um they just call it basically you know legitimate officer safety needs because of in this case it's a compelled right. transportation we, we we can't let this guy walk on the highway so no. since it's a compelled now we do want to we do want to uh try to earn their cooperation yep. but the other thing john i've i think maybe makes sense is that hey your backpack I don't think we should be like just searching backpacks, maybe just put it in the back of the car. It's out of reach. Unless we have specific facts that they may be armed and dangerous, then we, we do the regular pat down rules. Would you agree with that, John? Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. And at the end of the day, I mean, if you if you are in that situation, the hypothetical as you have created it and you leave that person on the side of the road and they get hit by a car. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a liability. So that's right. That would be for that potentially be foreseeable, right? That the person could be. Because you're not, you're not supposed to have people on that particular stretch of the highway.